friends, I'm over here at spaceweather.com. I'm looking at the NEO list. These are upcoming near-Earth asteroids. The ones that are highlighted in the, the light orange color are the asteroids that have been discovered by NASA that are going to come the closest to the Earth here in the coming days. You can see yesterday, May 6th, 2025, HF5 was an asteroid that was about 100 feet in diameter, came within 3.5 LD of the Earth. Looking at today, pretty quiet, not too much going on. Tomorrow, May 8th, 2025, JE, asteroid coming 1 LD away from the Earth. It's not that big, only around 20, 25 feet in diameter. However, May 10th is a much different scenario. As you can see on the list over here, there are five near-Earth asteroids. More than likely, these are all traveling together, headed in the vicinity of the Earth, anywhere from 2 to 4 LD away. And the size range of these asteroids are anywhere from just over 100 feet to just over 35 feet. So it could get very interesting here in the, the next few days because typically these things don't travel alone. So don't be surprised if you look up in the daytime sky, not necessarily just the nighttime sky, but the daytime sky as well and see something like this that was spotted a, a while back above Mexico. A massively bright meteor spotted in the daytime sky. This thing was hard to miss. If you were outside looking up you saw it this near-earth asteroid was a surprise it was about the size of a car and it was the same situation it was more than likely a rogue asteroid that wasn't on the near-earth asteroid list it was traveling with a, a pack of larger asteroids that that did indeed miss the earth this one here also missed the Earth. It skimmed the upper atmosphere. Check that out. Here's a close-up view of the, the car-sized meteor that did not turn into a meteorite because it didn't officially break apart and land on the ground. But things could get interesting on May 10th, so, so keep your eyes on the skies, whether it be daytime or nighttime. You might see a stray meteor streaking through the skies that could look something like this. An incident that occurred on May the 3rd, captured on a dash cam and an outdoor security camera. The first video from the American Meteor Society by Mr. Wyatt on the night of May 3rd, 2025. Right there's the meteor. Just casually driving down the freeway when that appeared in the nighttime sky. Have another video captured on a, an outdoor security camera by B. Newton. It originates from the same part of the country, the northwestern United States. There it is. Same meteor, just a different location. Once again, by B. Newton over here at the American Meteor Society. Quick look at the American Meteor Society. The last major event was reported on May the 3rd. So we'll see what happens between now and the arrival time of the, the cluster, a cluster of five meteors that are, that are headed this direction. And again, they don't normally travel alone. Something else that I wanted to share with you guys over here at zoom.earth is, is where I confirm the data that you're about to see. What I was looking for over here at Zoom Earth was the presence of fog, especially in the nighttime sky during the overnight hours or late at night. I've had several people here in the last few days, especially the last three days, send me videos once again of this mysterious fog. This first video is an extreme example of a very dense particulate fog in the nighttime sky, but as you can see over here at Zoom.Earth, at the time the video was taken, there was no fog on the map. Check this out. This video has narration by Nikki. Guys, what is this? This is not normal. It is 3.30 in the morning. And I looked on my outside cam and I was like, what in the world? And there's a strange noise over here. This is straight up into the trees. Okay? That is like crazy. These are my, you can't even see my... My plants, my trees in front of me, two, like a foot and a half. My lemon trees. See, it barely, I don't know what this is. It looks like baby powder to the naked eye and it looks like it's snowing straight down in between. I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's not fog, it's not pollen, guys. If it was, it wouldn't look like this. 
completely baffled by what she was seeing in the middle of the night in Georgia. And yes, it almost does look like baby powder floating in the sky. I've received a flurry of reports here in the last 72 hours of this mysterious fog. We saw a flurry of this mysterious fog a few months ago. Well, it looks like it's back. And here's example number two out of central New York. I went to Zoom.Earth, central New York. No evidence of, of any type of fog that you're about to see in this video. Look at how thick that fog is by Rodney out of central New York at, at midnight on the night of May 8th, last night. And again, like the video we saw out of Georgia, this almost looks like baby powder. Video number three out of northeastern Oklahoma. I came over here to Zoom Earth to, to verify either way if there was fog or not fog. And this was the only location where there looked like there might be the presence of fog. Here's the video footage that was sent in from northeast Oklahoma by Chris B. Also on the night of May 8th at 2 a.m. Check that out. Activated his outdoor security camera. Almost looks like it's snowing. And this is several hundred miles from Georgia, several hundred miles from New York. And the next location is out of Arkansas. And you can see I came over here to, to Zoom Earth. There's no evidence of fog, not even any clouds in the sky on this night. But look at the video from the ground. Activated her outdoor security camera, Lori C. on the night of May 7th, 2025 at 11 p.m. Video footage out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, and Lori said that this had a smell that was similar to model airplane glue. I've never smelt fog that smelled like model airplane glue. Again, over here at Zoom Earth, no evidence of fog. Check out the video footage from the ground, though. Very dense fog on the morning of May 5th of 2025 at 7 a.m. Video footage sent in by Mags as she was driving down the road. And visibility was probably limited to less than a quarter of a mile because of the dense fog that was not on the, the Zoom Earth map. Showed clear skies. Video number six sent in by Out to Lunch. May 8th of, of 2025. Not sure of the location, as they didn't share that with me, but you can see visibility in this video is down to about 150 yards. Once again, another example of very thick fog, and most of those examples were not showing up over here on Zoom.Earth. So remember, guys, we have a small pack of asteroids headed towards the Earth. Normally, these things do not travel alone. There's always a, a stray, maybe two, that, that go undetected until they enter the atmosphere sometimes dramatically so keep your eyes on the skies the the next few days you could see some action either in the day or nighttime skies thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there